everybody, and welcome back to Birmingham Bulls Hockey. Jody Chernesky here along with Greg Trevity to bring you all the action. We're about 10 minutes away from opening face-off tonight. But we get to see the top two teams in the league statistically. Fayetteville in at number one, Birmingham in at number two. Behind the net is play, Briarley will go after it. McCallion catches up with it first. Jonathan Pace for Birmingham. Backhand one for Rosen. Back come the Bulls, Morgan, or McGregor Sinclair. Stops at the blue line, cuts through the slot. Can't get the shot away, look out. Soper has it, he has a chance to go. Pace back, blocks him away. Now it's set up by Cook, a shot! As he took the pass from Kyle Soper. Stewart makes the save and holds on. It made it harmlessly through the crease. Now McTavish for Wiesner. Nice pass for Carter, a shot! Save made by Kenny. Good puck movement by Birmingham. Excellent passing, but Kenny shuts the door. Loven tries to get away from Briarly. He sends a shot off, stick the side there by Stewart. And the puck is sent wide for Nikita Kozarev. Has Glover with him. Glover takes a shot, score! Kozarev drops the pass back for Glover, and he got that shot low. And it beat Kenny. Right side, his glove side, and Birmingham takes a one nothing lead. Then the bouncer in, gets passed, but into the corner, played now by the Bulls. Carson Rose had it, lost it. Cameron Cook has it. Cook plays it through center ice. Bowen takes it away, now Carson Rose taps it for Sinclair. Parity on him, Sinclair couldn't get around Parity. Puck comes right in on Kenny and he covers up. Now some pushing and shoving. Cameron Cook didn't like the way he was treated at center ice. He has a little uh, neck hole, bear hug, whatever you want to call it, on Carson Rose. And at 22 to go, first period, pulls up by one. Puck is dropped. Connor Freeze loses it. Carson Rose picks it up for Birmingham and back we come the other way. Bowen now has it. Bowen sets one far side. Shot taken, save made, rebound, loose score! Kenny lost sight of the puck as that puck was shot from a bad angle along the board's right wing side. He couldn't control the rebound, then lost it. Birmingham right there to bang it in. I don't see, I guess it was Carson Rose that found the loose puck and put it in. He was in position to, but that's why you shoot the puck, you don't wait. Plays it behind the net for Sinclair. Sinclair can't get away from Connor Freeze. A good defensive play there by Freeze. Taken away from him by Rose. Now it's loose there in the Fayetteville zone. Sinclair has it. Shot taken by Bowen on the feed from Sinclair. Save made by Kenny. And a nice one. Arguably their best player. Sends it behind the net. McGregor Sinclair can't get it out. Ryan leads a shot. Blocker save pops up in the air. Do it with a good save. Now the whistle blows. This is saying, I guess they knocked it down with a high stick, but that's a heck of a save there by Hayden Stewart. Cola Tarsi has it. Far side Vance. Return. Cola Tarsi. Down low. Kozarev a shot at one timer. Save made by Kenny, and that may have been his best save of the night. Kozarev whistled it right in, but Kenny stopped it. Now the play's back in the full zone where Joey Cola Tarsi has it. Cameron Cook, dangerous pass right through the slot. But back comes Fable. Nice bang bang play. A good defensive play there by Glover. Boyko couldn't get the shot off. He does gain control and sends it wide. Glover may have saved the breakaway shot then, at least he saved a good scoring chance. Now it's played back in the Fable zone where McCallion touches up. Face off will come back into the bull zone. Image return for Logan. Look out, takes a shot, save made, rebound loose in the slot. They couldn't gain control for the shot. Now a shot taken, what a save made by Stewart as Yurkin floated through the slot into the crease, deflected that shot, and somehow, some way, Hayden Stewart keeps it out of the net. Now a shot taken, save made by Stewart. And he holds on. I'd like to see the replay on that now. Here we go. Dalton Hunter and Wiesner pushing and shoving in front of the net. Wiesner's been trying to get under the skin of some of these Fayetteville play players all night, and he may have finally succeeded. And Hunter, a guy we haven't seen a whole lot of today, no. Jody. No. Looking for it. Comes free for Brian Bowen. 
In front, a backhander goes off. The defenseman stick. Birmingham Sinclair had it. Now he keeps it in. Sinclair backhands one down low. Back for Briarley. Briarley looking for a deflection shot. Goes wide. Rebound bounce right out in front. But Kenny covers it up. And we'll hold on with 5.37 to go here in the second period. Once again, a dangerous shot there. Low and wide, but the way the boards are set up here at the Pelham Civic Complex. McGregor Sinclair, good defensive play, knocks it free and back up. Carson Rose has going with him. There's Rose a shot, a quick glove save as he snatched that one out of the air and held on to it for a faceoff for a last media timeout of the second period, 2.59 to go. Birmingham up, still 2 nothing. A lot of pucks being fought for along the boards, being tied up at Pope Free. Now it's picked up by McCallion. He goes down. He's still down as McTavish and McCallion collided. Now here we go. There was no original call of a penalty as McCallion's down on the ice. And it looks like they're calling for the trainer as Parody calls for some help. I don't see any blood on the ice. But Fayetteville's clean players that were on the ice didn't appreciate it. Now Cameron Cook's trying to get a at least a hold of Glover or Spotty. They're friends. They played on the same team last year. Maybe they're not friends, though. Off the draw, here comes Tyler Barrow. Gets away from Cullen Tarsi. Backhand save wow. made by Stewart. Barrow beat Cullen Tarsi on this left wing side. Cut in front of Stewart. And he reminds everyone why he is the top ranked goalie in this league. They're looking for instruction from the bench. He's barking at, at Lewis now. Yep. Go on, Kugler. I, we may not have to worry about calling the action off the bench. He's not even in position. Kugler, that is. He's not even in position off this draw. Mac Lewis is. There we, we go. go. Here we go. Now we, we got two. Glover and Freezer going at it first. Right off the draw now. Kugler and Lewis sizing each other up. Glover giving it to Freeze one after another. Now Lewis with a right. Kugler with a right. That Kugler goes down. Lewis on top of him on the other side. Glover and Connor Freeze just one right after the other. Lewis will get escorted to the penalty box first. That one took all of one second. And you and I both knew it was going to happen before they even lined up for a faceoff. Kugler goes underneath the stands back to the Fayetteville locker room while the others are escorted to the penalty box. Well, Greg, so obviously something did happen in between periods in the locker rooms, and it was just decided that the players would take matters into their own hands. One stick is down on the ice that disintegrated, now it's played by the Bulls' Donahue. Romeo sends it to center ice. Greg, I'm seeing Fayetteville starting to line up a lot of these Bulls on check. Now a shot taken, save made by Stewart. At the top of that far faceoff circle, and here we go again. Now Cameron Cook is upset about something. He's been the last minute now as well as Dalton Hunter grabs a hold of someone. Now he gives him a shot to the head. I believe that's McTavish he's got a hold of. Back behind the net, Cameron Cook in the near corner. Gives a left-hand shot in as well, trying to break free. Gives it to Chase Carter. Dalton Hunter fresh out of the penalty box, cuts in, takes a shot, and he does run. Stewart, like I said, Greg. Now here we go. He didn't yep. get the goal, and McTavish and Hunter going at it. Now looks like McTavish goes down. Hunter on top of him. Romeo tying his man up. Stewart's going to be okay, I believe. Well, hats off to McTavish there for yeah, coming to no the doubt. Unit, Stewart. And Good defensive play by Carter, takes the puck away, but it comes straight. To oh, my goodness, what a hit. Mac Lewis on Connor Freeze. He made him pay for it, and the Freeze didn't see it coming. What a play, what a hit. Now it's back at the point for Parity. Parity for Boyko. Boyko takes a shot, save made. He didn't even know where the puck was on the rebound. And the rebound shot into the netting, out of play. That right there was a heck of a play by Stewart, but a fortunate one at best. All this going on with the Fayetteville net empty. There's a shot by Barrow, wow. glove save! Wow, an excellent glove save made by Stewart. Just denied Tyler Barrow.
And I don't know how, I don't know whether adjective to use on Hayden Stewart and the way he's been playing, Greg. I just don't know what else to say. 30 seconds to go, 35 to go, that is, in the game. Mayable still on the power play with a net empty. So a two-man skater advantage. Boyko with a shot, he scores! Right at the top of the face-off circle, there's only so much pressure that Hayden Stewart can take. He almost made that save. Mankovic gives it up. There's a shot taken by Johnson, and it clears the zone, and this may do it. Parity has to go all the way back in his zone, and that's going to do it. Boyko has it. Can't get it past Bowen, and the, that's, the horn goes. The buzzer sounds in Birmingham. A hard-fought win and a hard-fought two points tonight.